Hello guys, so in this video we are going to cover the another way of how we can design the database schema for the Reddit like comments which are either in or you can say hierarchical or the tree based uh, tree kind of structure. We have already we have already discussed the nested set model in one of our previous video. So in this video we are going to cover the another way which is materialized path. Okay, let's first try to understand how what is what kind of table we create in this uh, in this kind of schema so this is how the table look like so if you see the one most important field here is this varchar which is the path here so for example as you know whenever you are creating any file there is always a file path so file path can be something like let's say um if i say slash d slash etc okay and something more like that so this can uh, we can have a, a path of the file like in this format similarly in this varchar we are going to store the string which will contain the entire nested format in that way for example let's say the comment is in this hierarchy one so all uh, one two three and four let's keep it till here these one two three four is one of the is the unique id for every comment and now if, if i want to store it how i will store it 1.2 this will be the path of this comment basically second comment now 1.3 this will be the path for this comment now 1.4 so this will be the path for this comment so this is how we store the path uh, for every comment in this let's take the example of this table so if you see here okay here the id which you see is unique for every new comment okay and post id is just about is the uh, po the which post that particular comment belongs to and in the path if you see 1 1 1.2 1.2.4 1.3 and all those things this represent the hierarchical structure let's see how if let's try to see how we can convert this one to the back to the tree so we can understand it more carefully that the one if we see we have this one comment which is this id one okay now after that we have next which is 1.2 so this is how we will store it 1.2 next is 1.2.4 so this is how that comment location is here the next is 1.3 which is which means the comment is at that place basically that that particular comment is the reply of this one this one next one is 1 3 and 5 that means it is here so this is how we store the comment uh, in this materialized path we store it in this string which is this varchar path okay now let's say if you want to get uh, all the subtree or basically all the comments any uh, under any particular post you can just use the simple query which is mentioned here so here we use the query like this way so here we are saying that hey get all the tree or the hierarchical all the comments which is under 1.3 that means 1 3 now whatever is under 3 1.3 it will return all the comments all the nested comments and it will go up to the entire chain basically it will not just get the one level it will not just get four or basically maybe five it will get below child also this one also then another one also so it will get the entire subtree whatever is under that particular node which is 1.3 so that is how we are we use this uh, way of defining our database schema in this way so let's now go to the blog again okay now what can be the advantage of this one in this way you can actually find out all the ancestor um, nested tree and the entire descending uh, comments also by using the string matching for example as we are using this like thing here if you want to fetch the entire ancestor and and the and all the children of any particular comment you can just use the percentage and with the like combination and you will be able to find out the entire uh, entire uh, all the all the comments which are and which are the child and the ancestor of that particular node or the comment okay now let's talk about the um, disadvantages of this particular approach one disadvantage is it this the, the query system basically this like query is not very fast query this is not like a numerical query this is little bit a slow query and uh, it will take some time to get you all the data and if the data is very long then definitely it will take more time there is one more issue 
as you can see we are storing the path in this one here so there is a limitation how much uh, like how, how bigger the length of the string can be for this particular variable or the sorry the particular field path as we have mentioned here 255 if the comment is having multiple nested comments like the chain is very very long then there is a limitation that we will not be able to store it in this database schema basically because there is a limitation that we cannot go over 255 but still i mean there will be some issues if we are having a very big string and we are using this percentage and then the like the like combination then we are going to have another performance issues also with those queries so that is also one of the overhead which we need to deal with this in this entire database schema which we can see it's good to have it's good to, this is a good way of defining that uh the nested comments if you want to get all the children's and the ancestor but it's not very good in terms of performance let's talk more about the other disadvantages so this one let's say whenever there is any update a comment is uh, like moving from one uh, reply to another reply then you need to move the entire nodes everywhere for example here if we see let's say five was the reply to this four and now this comment was moved under this four basically this four sorry okay this one let me just little bit clean it out yeah so initially this five just one second yeah so initially this five was with this four but now it will be connected to this one basically so this way we can see we will have to move all the nodes which are under five also because now initially the path for this four was one point three point four point five but now it will be uh, i'll just change the id of this one one point three point zero point four something like that okay so now so all the nodes which are under five needs to go through the um value update in this particular field which is this varcha because now the parent has got changed since we are storing the entire path the path of all the nested child or the nested command will also get changed okay so this is one of the like a issue with this design the other one is this inefficient handling of the deep uh, hierarchy as we have, we have already discussed that when uh, if hierarchy is very deep then we are going to have a issue with this uh, field size like there's a limitation on this field size so we are going to face the issue there like we cannot store unlimited size of the string there and if you are even going to store it we are going to face the performance issues basically as i have mentioned in the next thing we are going to have a poor performance with the string based queries normally the numeric based queries are much more faster than comparative to the string based queries like if if you have done some read code question you will have the idea how we do the string matching things and all that thing so definitely it, it is in terms of performance it's not really good when we are dealing with the strings the other issue is with the lack of the referential integrity constraints there is no foreign key with any other comments every time you need to find out something you have to directly kind of uh, um get the entire path then kind of uh, um clean it uh, deal with it write the code have the entire logic to find out the references to different rows and the columns so that is the other issue this you cannot have any there is no foreign key here and all those things so that is one of the other issues the other major issue is the um uh, concurrency issue in the multiple user requirement for example it can be like whenever a user is uh, updating the comment which was let's say just a hypothetical thing this is a comment under that we have two and we have three okay now let's say one has kind of changed the comment from one node to another node okay this is we are little bit talking more about the general use case of this uh, schema instead of just uh, the commenting system now if we move this node to somewhere else and at the same point of time the users are updating the second and third node then definitely there will be the issues in the database schema because this does not exist anymore and if they are trying to access access it at the same point of time then definitely we are going to face some issues there okay other other issues uh, with these kind of thing is going to be the pagination and the sorting for example if we want to sort the um 
comments based on the particular things maybe uh, by most words or some other way we are going to face some issues there i'm going to cover this particular part uh, about the sorting and the pagination thing in a separate video because uh, it will take a little bit more time to understand it in deep like how it actually works so we are going to discuss it in some other video but this is how uh, this uh, materialized path structure or the database schema look like if we want to store the hierarchical or the tree based um, uh, structure in the database so yep just to see if we are missing anything here yeah i think we have covered uh, most of the things <laughs>